Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today it is Monday and it's time for another Linux Top 5. And today we're going to talk about the top five reasons you might want to use a VPN. And so uh, a while back, I did a video on the truths and lies in VPNs. So you can actually get on and uh, find this video and I'll go ahead and card it and link it down below. So what this video is about is that I've seen a lot of misinformation about VPNs out there. It's become the latest, biggest, trendiest thing. And so a lot of people have jumped into it. And when you have that type of market, you have to be very careful to pick the right VPNs and, uh, and also to use a VPN for the right reasons. It's not a blanket statement. Absolutely. Everybody has to have a VPN. Um, because what happens is you get in that circumstance, you sometimes look for the cheap ones, you, you can get so bogged down in how many choices there are, so you have to be careful. So definitely check out this video, which is about uh, the real purpose of a VPN. Uh, but there are five really good reasons to use VPNs today, and so you want to look through this list of reasons, and if these things apply to you, you might want to think about getting them. If you stick around to the end of the video, I actually have two affiliate links for VPNs that I would recommend. So you can take a look at those in the description down below or get to the end of the video and I will talk about those. In the meantime though, uh, if you are unaware of how a VPN works, there's a nice article article here from Gizmodo and I'm pretty much just going to look at this, uh, this uh, image here to show you how a VPN will work. So essentially the way a VPN, as I highlight in that other video, what it was originally designed for is to create a secure connection into a network that you were not presently at so you could utilize network resources. That's what the original purpose was. And so you end up having a head office over here, you end up having the regional office, you had your home remote users, maybe this is you at home. So what you would end up doing is from your home computer whether you are at home or at a coffee shop, whatever else, you access a VPN client and you get a secure encrypted connection to the head office. Once you are in your head office, then, then any office resources connected to that, be they regional things or inside the head office itself, you can easily pass the information through uh, secure and, and encrypted tunnels. So that's kind of how a VPN works. Now the modern usage of a VPN is actually evolved quite a bit differently than what it was originally designed as. It's just how the system was originally designed makes it possible to do all this. And so with that, there are five really good reasons to use a VPN and we're gonna walk through all of these. Number five is to prevent uh, analytics data collection. This is actually a really good reason to use some type of VPN. Um, this is really only one of a bigger solution. So if you want to prevent a lot of these data analytics companies from tracking all of your information, one of the things you have to do is you have to clear your cookies on a very regular basis. Do not accept third party cookies and be cautious of the types of places you're at, maybe use some type of ad blocker or things like that. But where the VPN comes into play is one of the things that is not client side, meaning on your computer, but server side, meaning the network that you would connect with, is that almost all of these companies are also going to collect your IP address. Uh, if you are using a VPN, that will confuse the system. It doesn't confuse it, but it records a different IP address. And not only that, but it also gives you what you might call black static. Um, in that if uh, hundreds of people are all using the same VPN provider and are having the same VPN, it basically scrambles the IP addresses and data analytics company. And that is a huge win. So if you are very concerned about data analytics companies collecting data, then a VPN is actually a fabulous, fabulous thing to get. It does a great job of scrambling that data uh, in the form of blocking that. Again, this is not a magic bullet. It's not the only thing you want to do. It just happens to be, uh, happens to be the way that you prevent them from seeing your IP address. Number four, break free of your ISP restrictions. This could be expanded to beyond ISP restrictions, your work restrictions, your school restrictions, if you're, you know, any type of school level. 
if you connect to a VPN from inside of there, then you will break out of the restrictions placed on you by your ISP or by your system administrator to be able to access more things out there on the net. Now, um, some of your school systems and work systems know what the common VPN providers are and they will block those. If this is your only means, you might think of getting a Raspberry Pi and setting up your own VPN at home because they will not be able to track that connecting to a home built VPN is actually going to work. So if that is your only reason, check out my tutorial on that first. If that's too complicated, definitely pick up a VPN and see if that will help you break free of those restrictions as well. But what this is going to do is it gets you outside of the, the places that your ISP or your local network allows you to use and it will allow you to uh, allow you to utilize things and access points that uh, that you would not otherwise be able to get. Number three is to protect your traffic from your ISP. This is one of the things that has launched the latest wave of, of VPN, uh, the latest VPN marketing push is because back about, I don't know, a year ago or so, uh, Congress in the United States had voted to say, hey, an ISP can now collect and sell and market all of the data about the sites that you visit. And so what happens now is that your ISP, although it's, there's not really evidence any of them are actively doing this, they are allowed to log every site that you visit and sell that data out for marketing or other purposes. Now, uh, the VPN, the, the reason I always kick back against that is a VPN is really you're kicking the can down the road. The VPN company can always see all the same type of data. The question is, do you trust the VPN company or do you trust your ISP? If this is your only reason, I don't necessarily recommend the VPN unless you happen to have one of the companies that you know is collecting and selling the data or things like that. Uh, but regardless, uh, this, is, this is a very legitimate reason, uh, particularly if you are in an area, maybe you are a student and you are... Um, you are um, relying on somebody else's VPN, you're renting a room of a house and you're connecting to, a, uh, to an internet connection that, uh, that is set up for you. Maybe you live in one of these new condos or apartment complexes that provides free Wi-Fi as part of it. Those companies will have access to everything that you are doing and can tinker with your own, uh, your own uh, computer systems. If you're in those situations, definitely pick up a VPN uh, because it's going to be there. And, and my solution of developing your own VPN will not help. That's when you definitely want an outside VPN. Number two, and this is kind of where we start to get into some of the more broad reasons you would want a VPN is IP masking. This very much relates to the first item that we had talked about where it prevents, uh, prevents them from seeing your IP address, but your IP masking has more forms than simply analytics data. It can, uh, it can also play a role in which stores you see. Uh, what type of prices do you get if you're online uh, shopping? Realize that your IP location will dictate the price of online stores. Pick, a, uh, pick different areas, visit the same stores from different IP addresses through your VPN. You might be able to find yourself some better deals. If that's your primary use, the cost of the VPN uh, will actually pay for itself if uh, you do a lot of online shopping and you want to experiment with that. Uh, that'd be a neat thing to do. Um, it also is going to protect you from other other uses, other sources, other things that are utilizing your IP address, including if you happen to uh, have a Netflix account, a Hulu account, and if you travel abroad, um, picking up a VPN so you can access your own subscriptions from your home country when you're not in your home country, that is a very good use of having a VPN. Traveling people, you might want to have a VPN, and we'll get into the reason, uh, the reason to, to look at that next. Before we get into our number one, you can help support this channel by checking out switchtolinux.com forward slash support. That will show you all of the ways you can help support the channel. Uh, don't forget, you can pick up a t-shirt, a coffee cup, mouse pad, or a variety of other things at shop.switch2linux.com and swing by our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. And our number one reason to get a VPN is increased security. 
So because this utilizes this encrypted tunnel, it's going to make sure every website you visit is encrypted. It's going to make sure that uh, nobody else can snoop on you if you are uh, particularly on a Wi-Fi network. If you happen to rely on other people's internet connections, you go to coffee shops a lot and you work from coffee shops, Wi-Fi networks, any of those types of things, you definitely want to have a VPN. This could be one you build yourself or it could be uh, one that you are purchasing. This is going to make sure that you could literally on a good VPN, you could be at a coffee shop free open Wi-Fi and probably still do banking stuff very securely. So if you are a traveling person, you're traveling a lot, you're relying on other people's networks, always definitely use a VPN for that. Also, it's going to help you with the security to make sure there's no man in the middle attacks in between the website. Of course, this is not completely bulletproof because you could get a man in the middle attack at the level of the VPN provider server itself. Uh, but that generally is a fairly low risk, certainly lower than using an open Wi-Fi network. So those are the reasons why you should consider using a VPN. So if you want to know which VPNs I'm going to recommend, you can check out the description down below. Uh, I have two VPN providers. There's actually a number of uh, a number of them that are good. I just happen to pick two of them specifically as affiliate programs. I picked one in the United States and I picked one outside the United States or outside what you might call the the 14 I's uh, of with all of those three letter agencies. Private Internet Access is the first of these, and uh, Private Internet Access is a United States company. However, it was tested and, and demonstrated to not have logs. A subpoena was issued on them, and they came in and said, we simply don't have the logs. Uh, that's unlike some other VPN companies who have announced that they are log-free, but it turns out that mm, they did indeed have logs. Um, so private internet access is a great, uh, great way. If using my affiliate link down below, you can get 58% uh, savings off of uh, two years of VPN access, 52% uh, savings on a single year, and you can also pick these up for one month for $7 a month. This is great if you want to try it out or if you're just going to be traveling for a month but you don't necessarily need the VPN the rest of the year, you can certainly pick up one month of it and uh, see how it works, test it out, try it out, and all those types of things. You can have um, uh, multiple connections, up to five different simultaneous connections utilizing your private internet access account so go ahead and uh, check out the links for that the other one uh, based in Panama is NordVPN using my affiliate link you can get um, 275 a month for three years so three years of VPN access for $100 so that's a pretty good deal there's also if you scroll down to the bottom you can find a one-year plan at 575 a month or their monthly plans at $12 a month so you can check out the link to that one in the description down below as well. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.